Hi, Tyson from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today's book is Bounce Around Ticker for 1998. So let's get started. Everyone in the 100 Acre Woods knows Tigger, which means that everyone knows his bounce. Tigger is forever bouncing. He bounced from one friend house to another, from poo to piglet, from kanga to rabbit, from eeyore to owl, and back again. And he sometimes bounces his friends would mean that he bumps into them, not one of rudeness, but out of poor excitement. So one day, when Tigger was droopy, instead of bouncy, his friend was quite concerned. Why, Tigger, said Pooh, what happened to you? Wait, what happened to your bounce? I lost it, bumbled Tigger sadly. Look, I'll show you. Tigger tried to bounce, but instead of bouncing, his feet stayed planted onto the ground, and his arm hanged at his side. Even his tail drooped. Well, we'll help you find your bounce, declared Pooh. Thank you, said Tigger. You're our real pal. With Tigger following behind, Pooh and his friend began searching for Tigger Bounce. Just to be safe, they bought a long butterfly net, a large sack, a glass jar, and a pot of honey in case Pooh tummy got rumbly. Suddenly, Pooh, no, suddenly Piglet shouted, I see something bouncing. Look over there. The friend hurried after a grasshopper hopping across a meadow. Rue caught the grasshopper in his net, then trapped it into Piglet jar. Pardon me, Pooh asked the grasshopper. I wonder, did you happen to borrow Tigger Bounce? The grasshopper crossed its arm and shook its head no. Uh huh, said Owl. Need I remind you that he is a grasshopper, which means that he hops. Hopping is not exactly bouncing, you know. Oh, bother, I. I think you're right, said Pooh, as he let the grasshopper go. A while later, over near Poostick Bridge, Rabbit thought he should wait, Rabbit thought he saw something bouncing. Over there he shouted, under that tree. Everyone ran after an acorn tumbling in from a tree. And Wait, in his haste, Pooh tripped and fell right on top of the acorn. Oh dear, he cried. I hope that acorn didn't have your bounce, Tigger. I doubt it, said Tigger. My bounce wouldn't have bounced out of that way. Wait, my bounce would have bounced out of the way. All day, the friend searched the hunt the hundred acre woods for Tigger missing bounce. Once Igor accidentally kicked the stone and it bounced across the grass. Sorry, said Eeyore, false alarm. We never find my bounce, declared Tigger, dragging along behind the other. Just then, Christopher Robin shot out from behind a bush. He bounced and cried Rue. He's bouncing. Christopher Robin bouncing toward them on an odd-looking bouncy thing. As soon as Christopher Robin jumped off the bouncy thing, Tigger leaped on it and wrestled it to the ground. After some wild tr trashing uh, by grunts and 
a cloud of dust, Tigger lost hold of the thing and it tumbled to the ground. Tigger explained, Christopher Robin, what were you doing? I thought that thing stood my bounce. Tigger replied, sheepishly, Don't be silly, said Christopher Robin. It's just a pogo stick. I thought so, said Tigger, frowning, because even though I won the fight, I still don't have my bounce back. Tigger sat on the ground and hung its head. Now, Tigger, Christopher Robin asked, did you have a nap today? No, answered Tigger, puzzled by the question. Did he remember to have a snack, asked Christopher Robin. I don't think so, said Tigger, tried, trying to think back. Well, then, that's it, said Christopher Robin. Wait here, and I'll help you get your bounce back. Soon Christopher Robin returned carrying blankets and some of the food that Tigger likes best. Pooh would have shared his honey, but he knew that Tigger don't like honey. The other had haycorn and cupcake. Eeyore had some freshen. After the friend had their snack, Christopher Robin handed everyone a blanket, then they all settled down for a nap beneath a large shaded tree. When the friend woke up, Christopher Robin asked Tigger, So how do you feel now? Had your bounce returned? Tigger took a deep breath. He tried bouncing on one foot, then he tried the other. Suddenly, Tigger little jug turned into a bunch of big bounce. Tigger bounced up and down on his tail and yelled, Ho oh, ho, look at me, I'm back to being bouncy all over. Bounce, Tigger bounce, the friend cried happily, and Tigger bounced and bounced and bounced and bounced. So that was Bounce Around Tigger from 1998. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.